the group exhibit hydrogen fuel cells batteries at the Hanover Fair 2017. Please have a seat, help, you, help yourself with some coffee, drinks. Um, my name is Muriel Boakas and I would like to um, welcome today's presenter, um, William Hogland from Element One. He's the president of the company and he will talk today about DTEC tape uh, hydrogen color, colorime, colorimetric sorry, leak detectors for hydrogen equipment. I'm very much looking forward to your presentation and hand over to you. Uh, my name is Bill Hoagland. I'm with a company called Element One and we've developed uh, what we call a chemochromic pigment which will change color in the presence of very low concentrations of hydrogen. We've developed it for a number of gases, however, we're concentrating in this presentation on hydrogen because of its current uh, uh, interest. Okay. Uh, I'm going to introduce to you a product called Detect Tape. Uh, this is for hydrogen, it's called Detect Tape H2. And as I said, it's a color-changing, self-fusing silicone tape. Uh, we introduced this commercially with our industrial partner, MSP, in, in from Connecticut in the USA. And uh, we have developed the pigment, and MSP has developed the uh, self-fusing silicone tape for this application. Um, excuse me. I don't know where to point this. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but hydrogen interest has been peaked in the last 10 years because of the advent of fuel cells, fuel cell cars, and uh, uh, which means that hydrogen will be much closer to a consumer environment than it has been in the past where it was simply used in industry. So we're going to introduce uh, to you today Detect Tape and a way that it can improve the safety by detecting hydrogen leaks well before it's a safety issue. Uh, as you probably know, the reason hydrogen is of interest is it has uh, certain characteristics. It's very, very easily ignited. It's odorless, colorless. It has a high propensity to leak in applications. Uh, when it ignites, the flame is invisible, and it's got a high energy content. And the last one, which maybe is an advantage, is that leaked hydrogen diffuses very, very rapidly when it's leaked. Uh, that's good for safety, uh, makes it very hard to detect because the high diffusivity, uh, unless you're very close to a point of a leak, you may never see it. Uh, these are the current leak detection uh, schemes. They all have advantages and disadvantages. And uh, uh, we think we fill a pretty nice niche in uh, this market. Uh, so an ideal leak detector would be low cost. Something that most detectors don't do, give a positive indication of both the presence and absence of hydrogen. So when you have an active sensor and you're not seeing anything, there are actually two things that could be going on. One is you don't have a leak. Two is your sensor is not working. Since R is a chemical reaction, it gives a positive indication of both a safe environment and an unsafe environment. Uh, a good leak detector for hydrogen should be specific to hydrogen and sensitive to it. Uh, should not give any false indications. And it should be durable and have a long useful life and be a low maintenance item. Um, okay. Uh, Detect Tape has been featured, uh, it came out in 2016. We've had a number of good press. There are a number of 
very large companies who have taken it and conducted their own tests. And every one of the tests, uh, we have large oil and gas company, car company, a number, and all the tests have been successful and they're incorporating them into their operation right now. Um, the basis for our, uh, our product is we have a color-changing pigment for hydrogen that is very, very sensitive and very, very fast. We first incorporated that into a paint uh, which, up, which reacted very well but it was not very durable in an outdoor environment. It was sensitive to ultraviolet light, sunlight. So we were trying to find a means of carrying this pigment into an application, and we tested a number of silicones, and we uh, partnered with MSP with a self-fusing silicone tape. I'll talk about some of the results of that. Uh, the other half of the equation of the pigment is the self-fusing silicone. It does a couple of things very nicely. It makes it easier to apply the pigment, um, and the silicone protects it for as long as a year or more uh, in an outdoor environment. This is a picture of the color change on detection. Uh, the applications we're looking at is gas refineries, hydrogen fueling stations and cars, uh, storage facilities, and research laboratories. And uh, we, there are a number of applications that we think we, we work very well with. So I'll talk a little bit about the performance and specifications of the tape. Uh, this is a picture of the packaging. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with this. Um, I, I, points here, and I'll go through very quickly. This is the pigment response, and you can see how quickly, in a matter of seconds, the pigment changes color. However, the pigment is very sensitive to poisoning in air, and we needed to find the silicone. Here is a picture of the response of detect tape, and you see we're measuring the transmittance of light through it, which is an indicator of the color, and you see that it goes from like 100% down to about uh, 50 or 60 percent, but the actual color change is what you see here. So uh, the hydrogen reaction is a function of the rate of leak, the amount of hydrogen actually into going into the tape, and the concentration. It's a cumulative effect. It's a non-reversible reaction, so it will detect very small leaks. It just takes a little longer. Is my point? Maybe that's it. Uh, this just shows we can detect long leaks, uh, very slow leaks. Any leak coming out of a joint, uh, only a very small portion of it permeates the silicone tape, and the rest will leak out around it. So uh, it can get to be a very, very low leak rate. The amount of hydrogen that bypasses the tape goes down, but it still changes color. Uh, I won't go through this. This is the application on a flange test with a two-inch uh, version of detect tape that we now have. And you see it works very well. Here it is with a one-inch. And what we did is also we put in another color so that you'll have easy, a little bit easier time finding a joint, a gray tape on steel pipe. And also here you see the unexposed tape in an area, just for reference. Uh, the response is proportional to temperature. It responds more quickly at higher temperatures. It uh, responds more quickly to the hydrogen concentration that it leaks. Most of our hydrogen piping we've been dealing with is 100% hydrogen, so uh, it reacts very quickly, builds up a concentration underneath. Uh, we've done a number of exposure tests within our company. It'll go through a number of different uh, temperatures, sun and water and high pHs without any effect. Uh, the National Renewable Energy Labor Laboratory, a DOE lab, did a long-term test of detect tape 
and it came out with very good results. The, the test, uh, uh, the duration of the test was eight months long. 55 applications were put in an outdoor facility, uh, and a number of verified leaks were indicated that they had not known about before. Some were marginal, and they could uh, manage those uh, and just keep an eye on the leak. This is uh, some of the results. It was first put into a laboratory and achieved the same successful results that we found. They also deployed it outdoors. You see the change in color. Uh, some of them aren't quite so uh, dark as this, and they watched that. Some of the leaks actually took a month and a half to darken, and those they figured were not significantly. The tape can be changed very easily. It does not adhere to anything but itself. So with a knife or a pair of scissors, it can be removed and put back on. The reason we went with a non-reversible pigment is we felt that if a leak was indicated, you'd have to take the tape off to repair the joint anyway. Um, I'm just going to go over some of the information about it. But this is a result of the NREL report. They determined that it is shown reliability, uh, reliability uh, reliably identifies unintended releases, and the technology is, is proven. Uh, the, it's made in the United States by MSP in Berlin, Connecticut. It's got all the documentation. Our booth is right behind you. Um, I won't spend much time on these, but it's intended to be put on and left on um, and checked routinely. We have tape that's been deployed now for almost two years, and it still is as good as new. What I just said, okay. Uh, it's perforated, so it's easy to tear off and put a piece around, depending on the size you need. It's economical. Um, we feel that uh, routine use for only a couple of dollars per fitting and test, you can use detect tape. About the perforations. I'm going the wrong way, sorry. So it's, as I said, easy to use, doesn't require any training. Uh, it's very, very sensitive. I think we'll stop there. It's available, the booth, MSP has a booth right behind you, 33-1. We have a lot more information there for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. A warm applause. Thank you very much. Are there any questions right now? Yes. As an operator of a chemical plant, I would uh, uh, ask for an alarm in a control room of, of such a, a case. Uh, is it only manual uh, operation uh, uh, to uh, have an indication of a leakage or you have a possibility to detect it uh, yes, uh, uh, in yeah. the control. Uh, Thank you. Uh, uh, we've been developing a thin film uh, which changes color, which also the film will change conductivity by three orders of magnitude. And we're building that product now and incorporating it into a wireless sensor. But, you know, this has a place as well because uh, uh, we, we worked with Air Products, and they liked the fact that a safety operator didn't have to get close enough to a joint to sniff for a leak. He could stand back and not climb over piping, and, and that was safe for him. Further questions? Thank you very much. If not at the moment, I would like, as he already said, the booth is right behind the 43. Um, get there if you have further questions later. Thank you one more Thank time you. for your presentation.
So we will continue with the next presentation in five minutes, so 20 to 1, uh, 20 to 2 p.m. Um, with Ames Goldsmith, Samig, uh, it's going to be about uh, going from research into production, the problem of scale-up in materials synthesis. Thank you very much. <laughs>